there is an African saying that says that whatever you are going through, eat fast. Today, we are here in Phoenix, Arizona, where we meet a young woman from Rwanda who is giving Arizona a taste of Africa. Her story is very inspiring. My name is Bonventure and this is Moving Pictures Kenya, connecting people, inspiring Africa. Hi, Mraho. My name is Jasmine Umuhoza and I'm originally from Rwanda and I'm the owner of the Belle Bar and Grey in Phoenix. And um, welcome here. We are happy to have you here. Step into the world of African flavors and culture at the Bel Air Bar and Grill, a place where you get a taste of Africa in the heart of Phoenix, Arizona. I was born and raised in Kigali, Rwanda, and um, I'm from a big family of nine kids. And I'm the first one who moved, actually I'm the last born of the family, and I'm the first one who moved to the USA. I had no family when I moved here. Um, well, I went to school in Rwanda. Um, I have a degree in economics and business studies, so it helps with the business that I'm doing right now. I have a background of that. And uh, to be honest, I never saw myself moving to USA. But I woke up one day and I found myself here. <laughs> and like I said, I love to challenge myself. So uh, when I got the opportunity to come to the USA, my family there scared because I was still young. And you know, when you're the baby of the family, there is like, oh, there's no one who's gonna take your film. Like, no, let me just go there, try it out, see how it goes. If it doesn't work out, I always have, you know, I have you guys, I'll call you and I can come back home. So I came here, I came here as a challenge. I was like, let me see how it goes. And then boom. After eight years here, yeah, I'm still here, and uh, well, I'll say it was a good challenge because it turned out to be good. So I moved here 2015. I've lived in four different states. Everywhere I hear they have this, they're making good money. I'll be like sailors. I just pack my bags and go there, <laughs> and that's how I end up in Phoenix. And so far, so good. The Bel Air Bar and Grill was brought to life in June 2023 by the talented and visionary Jasmine Umhoza, a beautiful Rwandese woman with a passion for sharing the rich culinary heritage of Africa with the rest of the world. Uh, the first reason we opened um, Bel Air in Phoenix is, so I moved here in December last year uh, from Seattle. And when I got here, the job that I had was uh, like the busiest job that I have ever done. And it was so hard for me to find time to, you know, prepare some food at home. So I was eating outside. And I love African food. And it's so rare to find African restaurant in Phoenix. And it gave me an idea and I was like, oh, so we have a big community here of African in Phoenix. And I was like, why not trying something? Because I love taking care of people. And I was like, how about if we open a restaurant so that we introduce our culture, our food, and so that our community can have somewhere to gather and they feel like at home. And that's how the idea started. Since its grand opening, the Bel Air Bar and Grill has withstood the heat of Arizona, creating shockwaves throughout Phoenix. 100%. So our hours of operation is Monday, uh, Monday, to, Monday to Sunday, except Tuesdays. We're closed on Tuesdays. Monday to Thursday, we're open from 12 p.m. to midnight. And Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're open from 12 p.m. to 2 a.m. And our kitchen closes at 10. So after 10, we always have that good vibe going on in here. We have music. Um, Friday, we have karaoke. So you can come in here and you sing your song if you want to. You can sing it as karaoke. You can do a playback. We want you to feel comfortable and, you know, we have, you can sing any song you want. It doesn't have to be like those that we have for karaoke. You can request African, 
uh, hip hop, R and B, um, you name it. And even during the day when the kitchen is still working, uh, we do have music going on, and mostly it's some Afro beat, and we mix it with some R and B, hip hop, um, I'll say a uh, reggaeton, um, you name it. I'm Mrs. Bosire. Uh, I came for a graduation over here and a friend happened to mention about this African restaurant has Kenyan food, I'm here. Um, so if you are around, if you are a Kenyan, there is Bugari, Matoke, Japati, Matumbo, uh, Amandasi. Come, come all, come all. So um, we are from Maryland, but originally uh, I'm from Kisi, Kenya. Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Mark Bosire. We are from Kenya. We had come for graduation here in Grand Kayoni University. And we had there's an hotel here for our Kenyan. So we have come to enjoy Ugari. Whoever is staying around, come, come and get Ugari and Chapati. Jasmine's unwavering love for African cuisine and her desire to immerse her guests in the captivating essence of African culture has been the key to her restaurant's instant success. Uh, I would, so we are three months old now and uh, I'll say restaurant, when you open the restaurant, you're not going to start um, making profit right away. But the good thing is, even if I'm, we are three months old, I know my worth. Let's say if I want to um, sell my a restaurant right now, I know like I'm worth like, you know, a big bag. So that's something that gets me to wake up, to wake up every day. Because I know it's three months, I'm worth this. So after six months, I know it's going to be double. So that's what I love about this. We haven't started making like a big profit, but I can say the future is bright. At the helm of this African culinary journey, Jasmine proudly presents a menu adorned with popular East African delicacies. So we have uh, mostly it's East African food. We have from chapati to sambusa to mandazi to mbozi choma to brochette for uh, which is kebab. Um, we have uh, the stews, mbozi stew, chicken stew, beef stew, we have um, pilau, ugali, uh, we have the ugali, the Kenyan, and we have the Rwandan, which is the cassava. Uh, we have beans, to, we have spinach, we have African tea, we have all kinds of drinks, you name it. <laughs> Every bite at the Bel Air Bar and Grill is an authentic taste of Africa. During my visit to the restaurant, I found a group of East Africans enjoying a meal that they only used to eat at Christmas. Chapati, Sambusa and Soda Fanta. <laughs> Not stopping at just food, Jasmine is determined to introduce her patrons to the vibrant and refreshing world of East African drinks, from the renowned Tasca beer to the crisp and light Premus. We are still trying to figure out where we can uh, start getting some of the drinks from Africa, but it's a long, long process. But we hopefully, it's one step at a time, hopefully we'll get there and uh, so that people can come here and ask for, let's say in Rwanda we have Primus, uh, I don't know why they're drinking. Tasca. Oh, Tasca, yeah, Tasca. Tasca too, you know, we want to make sure that we, we will get to have that, you know, uh, on the menu. So once you come here, you know, you can find Tasca in Phoenix. Just uh, when you go to, when you go at the ballet, no, when you go everywhere else. So we are still working on that and hopefully uh, we will get there. This will give the Bel Air Bar and Grill 
an enticing beverage selection that will perfectly complement the dishes on offer. We're always open uh, for the ideas or, you know, for the compliments, for the, you know, what we can change. We're always open for that. And that's what makes, you know, helps us to change and to make sure we're giving a good service. But then, how does Jasmine maintain the authenticity of her cuisine? Yeah, so we have um, different African markets here, the store. So we always go from one store to another, making sure that we get the good quality. And then we have uh, some other suppliers like um, Restaurant Depot. It has mostly everything that you will need. And the rest, like the spices, we get them from African markets. This commitment to quality ensures that each dish is crafted with care and respect for tradition. So what you are preparing is for Yamachoma? Yeah. Okay. The Bell Air Bar and Grill prides itself on its spotless cleanliness and inviting ambience, creating a welcoming space for guests to relax, indulge and appreciate the African experience. Thank you. Oh, uh, so the first thing, even before uh, we open this place, uh, I really love to eat somewhere that is, I mean, I guess it's everyone. You don't want to go somewhere and you start doubting, oh, if this place is this dirty, like what the food, I can imagine how the kitchen is. So uh, first impression is something that I do um, consider like everywhere that I go. Like I, I, I have to make sure I get here so we open at 12 p.m. We always get here at 10 to make sure everything looks nice. And I'm always like walking around cleaning, you know, making sure that um, our food, we don't want people to come here and get sick after because we want them to come back tomorrow. So that's why we have to make sure everything is clean from the kitchen to the bathroom, to the outside, to the parking, everywhere. So. Uh, cleanliness is like our first priority, especially when you're dealing with food and drinks and everything. Jasmine's journey has not been without its fair share of challenges. The challenge is um, the African food is not easy, especially in this country that is everything is, uh, people are busy. So they love to go somewhere that they'll just go there, order their food and you know, like 20 minutes, they're already done with everything. But African food, you know how we cook from scratch. You know, you cook everything and it takes time. That, that is a big challenge for us when we started. But every single day, it's getting better because we're trying to explain it to people and they're starting to understand it. And like our um, uh, clientele, it's pretty much, it's not only African. It's, I would say like 60% it's African, 40 it's um, the rest of the, you know, the world. And uh, now that we explain it to them, they do understand. They're like, oh, so uh, if it's kebab, it's going to take between 20 to 40 minutes. And they'll be like, oh, that's fine. Because they know it's worth every wait. Uh, the waiting time was a challenge, but we're working on that. Also, finding dedicated staff who share her passion for African culture and cuisine has been an ongoing endeavor. To get, you know, people who are uh, loyal. It's not like they're not loyal, but I think maybe it's too much sometimes for them. And um, you get like uh, staff, they get comfortable, you get comfortable with them and they just, the next day they don't show up at work and you always have to be there to step in. So I'm always here like, uh, six days we are open in the week. I'm always here because I know I have to step in in case they need help. Yeah. You know you have used a terminology that I like, the rest of the world. So when you are coming from Rwanda to the USA, did you ever imagine that it will come a point when you will serve the rest of the world? Uh, well, not in the in this. Uh, particular area of the you know the restaurant but since I moved to to uh, USA I've been working with people like helping people um, 
So I love, I grew up in a big family, so I love being around people and I love helping people. It's my passion. And recent, it's not like helping, but it's the way you get to interact with different people. So it's an easy way to meet with the rest of the world, like you say. As a Rwandan native, Jasmine also takes great pride in sharing the positive story of Rwanda, a country known for its resilience and progress. Every day there's someone different that enters this, these doors and I'm like, yes. And then I get to tell them about Rwanda, you know, about East Africa, about Africa in general. And they always learn something from us. It's not all about the food they get from here. They always learn about, you know, our culture because I always go and talk to them. So, yes, it's something that it's been there for me, but I didn't know that I would be like doing it in this same area that I'm in right now. Through her success and leadership, she challenges fellow Africans in America to dream big and take risks. Dream big and take risks. Take risks, you know. We always uh, feel like, oh, it's too much, it's too much responsibility. To be honest, restaurant is, it's, uh, it's not an easy job. So it's something they do like 24 seven, but it's worth it. It's so rewarding because it's taking care of people. People come to you, you feed them, you know, and then they go happy, you know, by the time they leave, you see they're happy. It's so rewarding. So do something that you love and take time and challenge yourself. I really love to challenge. I don't like to be comfortable. When you're comfortable, you always stay in the same place. But when um, you challenge yourself, you know, you aim for higher, you always, you can do it. Yeah. Being the last one in a big family of nine, Jasmine inspires her older siblings. Such is her natural talent for running the show at the Bel Air Bar and Grill. So this is my office, most, I'll say 70% of the day. And, uh, well, I'll say we have mostly all the uh, liquor, all the drinks, all the, you know, the beers that most of people love to drink. And we are always open for um, if there's something that you would like us to bring, you know, to introduce to the community. When she's behind the bar, Jasmine effortlessly transitions from being the DJ to the bartender, the waitress, and everything in between, ensuring that every guest receives an unforgettable experience. So, during the day, I'm the DJ. <laughs> so if you want to request a song, please come to me or ask for me. I always go with my phone and I go, you know, at the table, I'll come and you just tell me the name of the song. I'll pray for you and trust me. And I can have some moves for you as well. So I'm an entertainer. I'm the DJ, sometimes a bartender, and I'm a waitress as well. So when you get here, you get the full package. The Bell Air Bar and Grill in Phoenix, Arizona is the place to be. And for the decoration, it's a... Uh, this is my touch so i was like i have to make sure we have you know someone who, who comes in here they'll be like oh you know like what is that like what does it mean what is it from so i get to have to start to have a way of starting a conversation with them so um this is it brings me uh like uh, like I feeling like at home. I feel at home when I'm. I, I see this. And it gives me that African vibe. And uh, we have all the 50 countries flags as well here. So only everybody who works in here from Africa, they feel like it's, they're at home because your home is where your flag is. So when is it? If, if your flag is here. And you can, because that's why they do everything, they're like, oh, I don't see my, you know, my flag. And I'm like, are you sure you take a close look? Because I know we have 54 countries there. And we did not forget about people who come here as well. We have the New York kind of vibe in here. So it's not only about uh, uh, like our community African, it's all about the whole world. We want to 
introduce our culture to the whole world and you don't do that by just being or oh, showing all oh, you only your side so I was like oh you can you know I've never been to New York but you know I want to be I want to go there one of these days and I'm like oh they say oh you have New York here you have African touch here the East African you have the flags here you have American flag here I'm like yeah I want everyone who is here to feel like a home so that was the reason the reason behind all this decoration that we have in here from the sumptuous flavors to the joyful vibes, Jasmine Omuhoza invites you to have a taste of Africa and discover the beauty of her culture brought to life in Phoenix, Arizona. Well, I would say um, I can't wait to have you here, guys. If you're in Phoenix, please, please stop by the Bel Air and uh, um, you get to uh, taste our food get to get the good vibe that we have uh, like i said we have karaoke on friday we have dj on saturdays and we are we are working on uh doing the brunch on sundays so it's always a good vibe if you wanna have a little taste of africa belle is the place to be and we can't wait to have you here you're very welcome nikaribu Murakazaneza. thank you Thank you, Jasmine, for that inspiring story. I am sure you have inspired somebody. Kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe to Moving Pictures Kenya. My name is Bonventure, and this is Moving Pictures Kenya, connecting people, inspiring Africa.